Adventures of the Line League, it's time for yet another great night of racing here tonight. The 30 minutes of Le Mans here with Group C cars or some older Group 1 cars from back in the day. It is the GTO throwback race, so we got some beautiful throwback paint schemes on track here tonight. It's bound to be a fun one. We got a great lobby. 14 cars have entered the... or. A, 14 cars in the race, well, 13 cars are going to be in the race here tonight, but it's going to be a great one. We had an excellent qualifying race already, so if it, the actual race is anything, or it just as exciting, just near as exciting, it's going to be great. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the starting lineup here. Rashad Metz ended up winning the race. He's going to get one bonus point for that. He will roll off on pole position. P2 is with Gavin Morrison, the hot rookie. So he's really, really good starting position for him. Uh, Board Wharton, Blam is going to roll off P3. Really, really good starting position for him. Glad to see him back in the car, the number 22 car. Nice to see him back. Uh, Javen will qualify P4 after cheating in the last turn. Uh, P5 will be Matt. Nice to see him. Good starting position for him. E3 will start P6. Slinky will start P7. Eighth will be Landon Beach. Good starting position for him inside the top ten. Ninth will be Driver of the Day, Zay. Congratulations on Zay for getting a new job. So we're really, really glad for him. Uh, rolling up P10 will be Dante, the current points leader. So he's got some ground to make up here tonight. Peter, nice to see him joining us here tonight. We'll start P11. And P12 will be Nicholas Collier. So it's, we got a stacked field here tonight. It's going to be great to see what all these drivers have to do. So we are going to interview the points or the pole sitter real quick let's see if we can talk to Rashad Metz uh, hey Rashad how's it going uh you won the pole here tonight so so how you feeling um going into the the race here tonight I feel good miles uh I know I mean the the race wasn't a sign that I had the fastest car but it's it just shows that I have the survival instinct that it takes to survive this track today so I'm just uh really excited to see if I could do something yeah, well, congratulations on that pole position. Uh, how you feeling? You get some momentum up. You had some good finishes recently here. Um, so how's it feel kind of building that momentum, trying to get that first win of the season? Man, I'm just trying to get points. I want to be consistent throughout the rest of this week, try to gain points on the leaders. Um, but that's the goal for today. I'm not necessarily trying to win, but if I can go for one, I'm... Well, congratulations on pole position. Gonna be good luck today. And we're going to talk to who starting P2 will be the rookie of Gavin Morrison. Hey, Gavin, how you doing tonight, and how you feeling about the race? Hoping to get a better finish than I have been the last few races. Uh, how's it feeling about the car and everything? You handling well? Uh, feels feels good. Went from P6 to P2 in the final chicane. Pulled the speed out of there and felt really good there. Well, that's good. Uh, you are currently in the lead of the Rookie of the Year points, so good luck here tonight. And we got, we're going to talk to one more top three starter. We're going to talk to Blam since it's been a while since we've seen him here. Hey, Blam, you're rolling off P3. Excellent starting position for the number 22 Caterpillar skids to your car. How's it, how's it feeling tonight? Hello? 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 I guess Blam is having those... Uh, difficulties that have been uh, troubling him throughout this season but uh, without further ado we got 30 minute race here to go let's go ahead and go track side here see if we can get this thing underway 30 minutes for these drivers to sort out this race so it's going to be a fun one to watch and see who can come out on top of the race here it's uh, got a lot of points that could be shaken up here tonight we'll see if we can get this thing underway here Let's take a look at the point standing real quick while we got a second. Current points leader is Dante Cuarto in P1. Tucker second. Colin is third. And the, we will go through the rest of the points later on in the race. But the cars are on the grid. We are ready to get this thing underway. 13 of some of the best lined up, ready to go at it at one of the most historic racetracks in the world. And the lights are out. We are racing at Le Mans in the Grand Turismo Line League Mets Painting Champion Series. They're fanning out three, four, five wide at some places as they dive down at the turn one. Mets out to an early lead, still battling three, four, five wide in the back of the pack. Lots of heavy contact, bumping and banging in the back. Able to get it sorted out, though, as they go underneath the dumb lope sign coming down the hill. Rashad Metz has won the 
lost the lead already to Landon Beach. Beach out front. Gavin Morrison using all the racetrack, trying to gain some time here. It's going to be interesting to see. Oh, hard in the wall goes Gavin Morrison. He hard. A lot of front end damage on that. Tough break for him early. Some drivers are starting to get some penalties for cutting the track a little bit. Landon Beach already up a lot of positions here. He's leading the race. Could there be an upset brewing here tonight? Some drivers trying to help each other down the straightaway. A little bump drafting action going on here. Tough break for Gavin Morrison. Sorry, P2 already lost 10 spots. So a really, really tough break for him. But we got a race going on for the lead here. Tucker slipped past Beach on the straightaway for the lead. Dante close behind him. Here they go, which is the tight corner at the end of the straightaway. Whoa! Land and Beach trying to dive it in there. Goes way off the racetrack. He's going to lose a lot of time. Merges back in the traffic. Causes E3 to spin. Lots of chaos in the hairpin. A lot of these drivers picking up some penalties early. Here comes Dante to the outside for the lead. He's got the preferred lane in this corner. Here he goes to the inside. Metz misses the corner behind him. That's going to open the door for Slinky to his inside. Side by side for the first two rows now. Tucker trying to take the lead from the points leader. What a points battle it is too. Tucker's only three spots behind Dante, so whichever one finishes will be higher in points whenever everyone finishes ahead of the other. Tucker still searching for his first win of the season. To go through the S's here. Mets back to fourth. As you see Matt back in the race here tonight. Through the final chicane gonna Complete lap one. Dante is going to lead lap one after starting deep in the field. Tucker's going to move up to P2. Slicky right on his rear end as they dive down into turn one. Side by side there for a moment. Slinky able to slip past Tucker for P2. They're side by side bumping and banging back here for P5. A lot of drivers getting penalties early here. If there is any complaints about the race here tonight, remember Slinky did host the lobby, so we are not to blame. Dante trying to stretch his lead now. 225 miles an hour down the back straightaway. These things are some fast cars. We take a look at the helmet camera of Rashad Metz as he chases down the top three. He's got Colin. And Matt right in his rear view mirror starting to fill him up. They have a huge run on Rashad. There will be a mandatory, mandatory tire change as well. So it's going to be interesting to see what kind of what kind of tires these, these guys opt to go to. Matt trying to look to the outside there. Not going to be able to get her done though. Pretty spread out through the top three. Ooh, we got a car off the racetrack. It's Landon Beach yet again off in the hairpin, off in the sand. This is not the beach. He has been playing in the sand a lot, though, today. Say Smitty up to P8. Nice job from the driver of the day. Tough break for E3 so far. We thought he was going to be one of the faster cars here tonight. He's stuck back there at P9, just clenching onto a top 10 spot. 
So hopefully he'll be able to gain some time here toward the end of this race. We got a battle going on now for P3. Metz trying to take it away from Javen Tucker, and he does down the straightaway. It's still side by side, though. This is a tough part of the racetrack that they're going into now. Who's going to come out on top? Ooh, Rashad Metz slides in front of him. Metz looking for some points. He's a little bit further behind in points this year. So he's going to need a couple good points days today if he wants to stay in the championship hunt. Colin gaining a lot of time here. He is in the battle for the lead in the lead now. Oh, some contact to the back of Tucker. That's going to cause some further damage on. Ooh, he almost lost it there. It's getting a little sideways there. But man, these guys battling back here is called the lead pack to pull the way even more. Ooh, Tucker got a penalty there. Side by side yet again. Little nudge there. Matt's going to see the position there. All over the rear bumper of the 99 car. Metz trying to find some work here, trying to keep the track position. Matt now looking to the inside of Rashad Metz. All drivers sliding out wide, trying to use every bit of track they possibly can as they go down the back straightaway. Now, since these drivers are pretty much within a, a line of each other, will they help each other down the back straightaway? See, Metz already given some nudges to Matt there. Tucker trying to gain some time on the leaders. Top five here, still battling it out down the back straightaway, trying to help each other. They have caught Javen Tucker. Metz is going to peek out now, diving in this corner. Not able to get the run that he wanted, though. Collier up in the P10 now. Nice to see him in the top 10 here today. Tough break for Blam though. Ooh, Collier's around. Tough break for him. He was up in the top 10. He's going to work his way back. But Blam started P3 on the podium and he's already back to 11. So not a good start to the race for him as E3's way off the racetrack. And it looks like Nicholas Collier has retired the car. Must have had a mechanical issue. Some have Rashad Metz here. Back to P6. He must have had an off-track excursion. Collier is showing his displeasure with the GTO officials. Slinky trying to track down Dante, but Dante is pulling away. Man, he has been fast so far. Now, these front couple did start on racing soft, so will they make the change to medium? Well, they probably have to make the change to mediums here. So will these other guys go into softs? How much of a difference will it make for them? It's interesting to see how his strategy plays a role here. We're about 10 minutes in. This driver's starting to run a little low on fuel, starting to get close to a quarter tank here. So it's going to be interesting to see who can save the most gas. As Blam is going to be the first one on pit road. 
out of P12. It's like you're doing all that he can to try to catch Dante, but Dante's steady pulling away. Through, spread out throughout the top four or five now. Orson back is into the top ten. Lamb is the first one out on fresh tires. He's made the swap over to mediums. It's going to be interesting how, to see how that spreads a factor and see if he can make it to the end or if he might try to two-stop this race. So we're still approaching the halfway point here. Colin has gone around out of P4. That's going to cause Matt and them to gain a lot of time on them. Matt's going to move up to the P4 position off of that. Tucker trying to hang on to P3 here. Dante putting on a clinic so far, though. The points leader, he dives on the pit road. He's the first of the league group. The slink, he's going to follow him. It's not quite the halfway point, though. Do they have enough fuel? Slink, he's going to, or Javen Tucker is going to stay out on the racetrack, try to get some track position here. It's one of those first drivers on mediums. getting four fresh tires and a full tank of gas. Shad Metz decides to stay out as well. A couple of other drivers ducking on the pit lane. Beach is in now. Looks like Morrison is going to stay out on the racetrack. Some of these cars have saved enough gas to be able to go an extra lap. That might be able to get them to the end. They might try to one-stop it. Some of these guys may have to two-stop it, though. Who will get enough gas for the end? As Slinky and them are out on the racetrack, all of them taking full tanks of fuel. Tucker has inherited the lead. Now about eight seconds ahead. Matt Julio's in P2. Going about 230 miles an hour down the back straightaway. Tucker's still searching for his first win of the season. Can he get it done? Interesting to see what these drivers on fresher tires can do back here. Slinky and Dante, who were the leaders, have cycled out just outside of the top five. Dante is currently fifth. 20 seconds off of the lead, but these leaders are going to be coming to pit road soon. So I wonder if switching to the softer tires for the latter half of this race, I wonder how much it will help them. Because these um, other drivers that are about to pit this lap most likely should be able to make it to the end since we're just past the halfway point. So will Dante and Slinky have enough gas to make these Slinky us off the racetrack, miss the braking zone? It's going to cause him to lose some time, unfortunately. We 
Slinky off the racetrack again. He's having some trouble with that car, trying to keep it on. He's lost a lot of time to Dante, about four seconds. Trying to keep the, the thing straight. Pretty spread out throughout the pack now. Zay in 11th. Tucker out of the lead, dives on the pit road. Will Matt come in this time as well? I think he's going to have to. Looks like Metz is going to as well. The top three are in. Here comes E3 as well. They should have enough to make it to the end of the race based on what they went through in the beginning half of the race. Ooh, Metz, mistake going in the pit entry. Him and E3 get together and spin. That's going to cause them to lose a lot of time. E3 goes around again. That's going to cause Dante and them to gain a lot of time. They're going to cycle out up front. Slicky now close behind, though, definitely within slipstream range. Slinky is coming out of the pits, or Javen Tucker. Tucker gained a lot of time on that pit cycle. Excellent job from his crew. And he's on fresher tires, too. Ooh, here comes a pass for the lead. Slinky to the inside. He's up to the lead now. Dante trying to hang on to her. Dante... It's, but Slinky does not have that much fuel. He only has three, about three quarters of a tank, so will he be able to make it to the end? Or can someone like Tucker, who stretched a little bit during that first stint, be able to hang out there? But it feels good for a lot of these guys that just came out of Pit Road to be on some fresh softs. Ooh, something happened there. Tucker has slipped past Dante for P2. Tucker now making a march toward the front. That pit call had an excellent jump for him on the racetrack. So made some excellent track position up. He's now going to try to run down the leader of Slinky. Slinky also has a penalty, so that's definitely not going to help him out. Tucker steady tracking him down. He does have a little bit fresher tires than him. Dante is the first one out on medium, so he should have a little less fall off than the rest of these guys out there. Slinky trying to hold his lead. Javen Tucker now within striking distance as well. As Dante, they're all in the same straightaway. Is Javen close enough to get the toe? He's got it down to under a second now. Slinky's definitely got a rear view mirror full. Tucker does have a lot more gas, so maybe Slinky's in fuel save mode if he can try to save enough to stay out again, because man, it would suck to have to make a second pit stop here. Pretty spread out throughout the pack. Tucker lost a lot of time for that last turn. Here comes they come through the chicane. About 10 more minutes to go here in the race, so it's definitely long winded down. Probably about three to four more laps here. Tucker's within striking this is he wants to get close enough so we can use the slipstream down the straightaway to really help him catch the leader here and save a little gas in the process. Not 
Not quite the run Tucker went on the straightaway. He is starting to chop off some time though. See if he'll be fast enough. Gaining a lot of time and he's got a lot of straightaway to be able to gain some time on. Now back under two seconds. Dante trying to gain some time as well. Matt, P4 now, trying to gain some time. Say so what Dante really wants to see is he wants to see these leaders start battling so he can gain even more time on these guys. That car screaming down the straightaways. Now down to just around a second between the top two. Will Tucker be able to get it done? He loses some time there. Able to gain a lot back off of the corner. Only eight tenths separate the top two. The race is on. Around 21 minutes into this thing. Seems like it's give and take, a lot of give and take here. But Slinky will get, gain a lot one corner and then lose a lot the next, and Javen Tucker will gain a lot one corner and do the opposite the next corner. So it's a lot of back and forth between these drivers. Can uh, Tucker get close enough to be able to get a good run down one of these straightaways though? Seems like he's a little bit slower through some of these corners, but he's definitely got the straightaway speed to be able to make a pass if he can get close enough. Matt and Tucker do have a lot more fuel than a lot of these other guys out here. So does Metz. So if some of these guys do to make a second pit stop, they may lose a lot of track position here because pit stops take a long time here. This long pit road, it's a tough pit road to get in and out of. We saw the incident earlier. Ooh, Slinky a little bit wide. Not quite the exit that he wanted. That's going to let Tucker to close the door yet again. Now down to half a second. Couple car links separate the top two now. Tucker trying to get a good run down to the long back straightaway. Looks like Colin's gonna duck on a pit road out of P5. I believe that'll I think that is his second stop of the race, so one of those drivers trying to two stop it. Will those fresh tires make that big of a difference? Slinky with an excellent run on the back straightaway. Can Tucker be able to make up enough time? He's probably close enough for draft. He is cutting into the time now. He's definitely got some slipstream on his side. As they scream down the back straightaway at over 220 miles an hour. Now down the five tenths. Will Tucker make a move? Here we go, Tucker. The, the lead, oh, they touch going down the back straightaway. Tucker to the lead now. As he's just at a purple sector. Over 130 miles an hour as they stream down the back straightaway. Will Slinky try to make a move here coming into the hard braking zone? Looks like they're pretty tame now. Knows the tail. Will Slinky try to look for a pass here? Another straightaway where they could make a run. Slinky definitely does not have that much fuel. Does he have enough to make it to the end? Probably about two laps to go here. Dante not terribly, not too much better on the gas situation here. Who will be able to stay out the wall? I would have to say that Matt and Metz are probably two of the best on fuel on the racetrack right now. Will some of the other guys be able to hang on. Ooh, a little nudge there out of the corner. That's going to allow Slinky to go to the inside, see if he can clear Tucker for the lead yet again. Yes, he does. Slinky back on point here. But Tucker's not going to give up that easy. They go side by side yet again. Tucker tucks in behind into the S as they go. 
Slinky's a little bit faster through this section of the racetrack. They look at the time that Slinky was able to gain right through there. Gain almost a second there. Slinky's coming on the pit road. He's going to not have enough gas to make it to the end. Tucker's going to stay out on the racetrack. He might be able to have enough. It's like Dante's going to risk it and stay out yet again. But Matt is right on his tail. I think Dante has gone in the fuel save mode. Dante does have the fast slap of the race. Ooh, the little nudge there coming out of the corner. It's like Matt's going to try to look for a pass here soon. Right on his tail. Ooh, a little nudge there, a little loose moment there from Dante. Who can hang on to her? Slinky's going to cycle out in P4. He's got some fresh medium tires on. Really, he'd be able to run down some of these up, guys up front. They're still battling hard for second place, though. Matt trying to make a move. He's going to have a long back straightaway to do so, though. Tucker has checked out. He's about 13 and a half seconds ahead of these guys. Looks like Dante's just that much faster down the straightaway. But does he have enough fuel to make it? Close in about three minutes to go, so the next lap should be the last lap of the race. Who's going to be able to get it done? Who's going to have enough stuff? E3 up into the top five now. Matt's hanging out in P6. He should be good to the end. Interesting to see who's going to have the pit again and who's going to be able to stay out. Pit strategy with a big factor here at the end. Tucker searching for his first one of the season, but they are battling hard for P2. St Matt has slipped past Dante for that second place spot. Matt goes a little wide, though. That's going to allow Dante to close up the gap yet again. Nose the tail down the straightaway. Who's going to try to get to get the run? Will he just continue to go down? Dante is running dangerously low on fuel. He's going to have to come in this time, most likely. He's also got a penalty to pay real quick. That's going to cause him to lose some time as well. Slinky trying to go all out to the end there. He's trying to gain back some of those spots. Unfortunately, he had to make that second pit stop of the race. He is the first one on fresh, or he's on the freshest tires on the racetrack at the moment. Some of these guys behind him are a little bit worn softs. Slinky starting to gain some time though. Looks like E3 is actually starting to get reel in Slinky a little bit. Here they come to what most likely is going to be the last lap of the race. Will these other drivers be able to cross the line in time? I think Dante might have ran out of gas. That's going to allow Slinky and them to slip past. Will these other guys be able to get to the line in time? Looks like Dante is going to try to stay on the racetrack. He's going to lose a lot of spots, though. Slinky able to get across the line. So is E3. Dante. He's coasting, trying to get there. Mets going all out, trying to get across the line, sending it into the final chicanes. Oh, Mets did not get to the line in time. So the top five is locked in. Tucker is out front. He's got a good lead, but some of these guys starting to gain on him a little bit. Matt P2, Slinky on fresh tires and a, about as more gas than anyone else, trying to gain as much time as he can. E3 up to P4. It 
as they scream down the back straightaway for one final time. Can this be Tucker's night? Will he be able to pick up his 11th career victory here? Julio, he might need a miracle here to try to gain some time. Will Tucker be able to hang on to it? As the top five is mostly spread out now. The four that are still on the racetrack, hoping that the other one will make a mistake. Mets gain, or not Mets, Tucker gaining some time now. Trying to stretch his lead. He's getting a little low on fuel though. Does he have enough to make it? That Pulio is a little bit better on gas than Tucker is. But Tucker is going all out to try to make this thing stretch. He's hungry for a win. All these guys are. Tucker's able to get it done here tonight. He will take over the points lead in the championship. Just a couple more twists and turns here to go. And through the final shed of kids, chicanes, here we go. Tucker, what a pitch strategy. They would get him out front through the final chicane for one last time. Javen Tucker is going to win at Lamar, his 11th career victory. Here comes Matt Pulio. He's going to come across the line here. He's going to finish P2. And Slinky's going to have to settle for P3, it looks like. Here he comes through the final set of chicane. So a nice podium, nice rebound there from Slinky after having to make two pit stops. And the last one to cross the line will be E3, rolling it off to P4. So what a race. What a strategy-based race. But Javen Tucker is your winner in that number 99 car. First win of the season. He's able to get it done. Here he is. We're going to see him celebrate in victory lane here in a second. What a victory from Javen Tucker there. There he is, the confetti up three positions from where he started let's talk to the winner of tonight's event if we can find him javen tucker congratulations your first one of the season how does it feel to get it done in lama it's about time isn't it um, yeah it is the highest person in points without a lead or without a win so how does it feel to finally yeah. get get that weight lifted off your shoulder you know, it feels great. I'm glad we got the win at Zarth as well because I know I got had to miss out every time we've done it before, and I really, uh, really wish I was able to do it. So being able to come to the track, race for the first time here with GCO and win it, and end my drought, it's great. Absolutely love it. Well, that's your 11th career victory, so congratulations on that. You're starting to close in on Mets and Johnson for the top of the all times wins list. So congratulations on winning here tonight and grabbing the points lead. And we're going to talk to the second place finisher, Finisher, I believe. Let's see who finished P2. Let me look at the results here. Matt Pulio, let's see if we can talk to him real quick. Uh, hey, Matt, you finished P2. How'd the race go tonight? And congratulations on a podium finish. That's, that strategy sure did make a huge difference there at the end. So congratulations on another great finish here tonight. That's sure to help you out in points. And let's talk to one more person here who finished P. Uh, let's see if we can talk to P3. Slinky ta uh, finished P3 here. Let's see if we can find him. Hey, Slinky, finished P3 here tonight, was able to round out a podium. Uh, the highest person to have to do a two-stop. So how does it feel to be able to round out a podium? Uh, feels really good. Um, I was hoping the commitment to the two stop at the start of the race. I already wanted to do a two soft stints, one medium stint. Didn't quite pay off like I wanted to. Uh, incredible drive from Matt and Yido. Saving fuel was the way to go, and they did a really good job at that. Uh, uh, 
can't say it's unlucky because I had a really clean race. Very, very few penalties despite going off track. So um, the only other thing I could have wished for was fastest lap, but Dante got that early on. That car was quick. Well, congratulations on P3. Great run. And we're going to run through the finishing order really quick. Javid Tucker is going to get his 11th career win here tonight. He finishes first. Matt Pulio, he after starting deep in the field, he's going to start P2 or finish P2. So excellent finish by him. Slinky's going to round out the podium, finishing P3. E3 is going to finish P4. Nice top five finish from him. P5 will be Dante. Had to make or ran out of gas there at the end, lost some positions, but able to come away with a P5 finish. Rashad Metz. Tough break after finishing on the or starting on the pole position, so he's gonna have to deal with a sixth place finish. Not a great finish from him there. Uh, P7 is gonna be Colin McKevitt. Eighth is gonna be Landon Beach. Ninth will be Gavin Morrison. Tenth will be Board Wharton. Eleventh will be Zay. Twelfth will be Peter. And 13th will be Nicholas Collier. And the driver of the day will be Zay Smitty. So let's see if we can talk to the driver of the day real quick. One more interview here. Hey, Zay, congratulations on driver of the day yet again. Man, you are always wheeling that car day in and day out. How does it feel to bring home the driver of the day award yet again? It was good, especially a special day today. Got my first job in a few years. You know, the good Lord has been watching me. And uh, just very thankful for all my fans, my team. Everybody that supports me. Uh, happy Easter to everybody. Hope everybody enjoys their Easter holiday and uh, thanks for watching. Well, thank you. Thank you, Zay, and congratulations on the job and driver of the day. And that's pretty much going to wrap us up here tonight. Thank you all for watching the 30 Minutes of Le Mans. What a great race here tonight. Uh, just so stacked full of talent. Uh, make sure to check us out on YouTube. Watch the full race replay. This will be uploaded so hopefully later tonight. And make sure to follow us on Instagram for some points update and more. So just thank you for everything. Thank you to all the drivers for joining us here tonight. We will see you soon. Thank you all for watching the Grand Tourism Online League Mets Painting Champion Series. We will see you next week for some more great racing action.